welcome back to Car Obsession and welcome back to another PRC video. Mm -hmm. um, and if you don't know what PRC videos are, where have you been? Yeah. First where of all, have, where have you been? Exactly. We've done quite a few now. Yes. Um, so PRC is Patsy rates cars. Patsy is moi, and I will rate the cars. Simple PRC. Anyway, this week Aaron, him, hello, has he's got a bit of a poorly mouth. Bless him. So if he sounds a bit weird, he doesn't talk like that normally. No, my mouth is quite painful. So this week we have the Kia Exceed. Um, haven't really done my research on it, and poor Aaron can't speak. So well, all I, I can I, tell I can, you, but it may be a little bit muffled. All I can tell you is it's this. Very informative. I know. Uh, I, I, I do give a brilliant review. I do. So the X Seed is the latest model to the Seed family. So you have the Seed hatchback, the Seed sports wagon, which is the estate. Yep. The Pro Seed, which is the shooting Ooh, brake. Yes. Which we had. You uh, had a that. While back. It was a really really lovely. You had the Pro Seed GT. Yes, that's the one. Um, and now this, the X Seed, which is uh, a crossover version. So it's a bit taller. It's a bit longer. And it's a bit more SUV like. Exactly, yeah. Although, <laughs> although uh, Kia calls this a CUV crossover utility vehicle, not sport utility vehicle. Is that a thing? Oh, I, I think it's just made up marketing mumbo jumbo, personally. But it's Kia being different. That, that's merely my, my opinion. Yeah. Fair enough. So, I believe, is this the base model that we've got this here? This is, yeah. So, you've got three base models, you've got two three and first edition so this one we're in now is around um i think it's twenty thousand seven hundred and forty five pounds okay pounds but yeah it's just a little bit under twenty thousand eight hundred pounds okay yeah in regard to what what other bits this car has so eight inch touchscreen reversing camera uh, but no has it got parking sensors no it hasn't got parking sensors um, LED headlights, LED rear lights, mm -hmm. smartphone connectivity, Bluetooth, DAB radio, um, air conditioning. It's also got a speed limiter, auto okay. automatic lights, automatic um, high beam, which works relatively well to be honest. Mm -hmm. Has um, it got anything like lane keep assist yeah, or anything? Lane keep assist, I think this also has the lane following assist, if I'm not mistaken. If okay. I, am, I do apologise. Uh, autonomous emergency braking. So, yeah, this is a pretty safe car. It's got uh, four stars from your NCAP. Okay. It can be bumped up to five stars if you pay the extra money to get the advanced driver assistance pack. And what that gives you is, so it basically gives you a more advanced version of the autonomous emergency braking. Okay. That's what helps to bump it up to five stars. And of course it has the standard Kia seven year warranty. Yes, it certainly does to give you a you know, greater peace of mind if you're looking to buy this car. I must admit it is very plain and bland in here, yeah. but you you kind of have to balance that out with the costing of, of, the, of the vehicle. Um, I wouldn't say it's expensive. I wouldn't say it's stupidly cheap. No. Um, so realistically, for for the price, you can you have a little bit of what I call moan leg room, where you can moan a little bit against the price of the car. Moan leg room. It's my thing. I'm doing a Kia CUV. I'm having a moan moan leg room. Well, but you're not moaning about leg room. Okay, moan flexibility. Are you not moaning about flexibility? I've got. Okay, moan, moan and price ratio. Room to complain? No, moan to price ratio, that's what I'm calling it. Okay. Patsy's moan to price ratio. Right. So, inside, it is, it is a bit bland, it is a bit plain, it is a bit, mm, take it or leave it. I mean, there are some nice things about the inside, and that is, there is a fair amount of kind of soft touch material surrounding the dashboard. And that shocked me because I, to look at very quickly, you'd think it's plastic. 
but when you actually feel it there's a lot of soft touch in here yeah and i i do quite like how the soft touch isn't just on the dashboard it comes down to kind of over kind of hug the kind of infotainment system the buttons the controls yeah the seats talking about interior there is a reasonably nice design on the seats it's kind of it's like little diamonds within diamonds if that makes sense yeah and uh, they're comfortable as well i find them comfortable they uh, are comfortable the headrest is having like a breeze block behind your head yeah the headrest is quite firm but this is a, a brand new car it's done less than three thousand miles what do you want people to do smash their head into it to soften it up for you no but obviously as, as, <laughs> as time goes by i know what you, know, you mean you know, soften up have a bit more give um yeah the seats are quite uh, the seats are comfortable. comfortable i would like a bit more bit, um not really support a bit more bolstering Okay. Um, I, I kind of feel like they've it's a half assed attempt at a bit of bolstering okay. um, I would like a little bit more but the seats are, are, are very comfortable you can get a nice you can pretty much get in a car this car sorry sit down and be comfortable it's not one of those vehicles nice. you have to get in and keep repositioning yourself to get comfortable um, one thing I think you mentioned now please correct me if I'm wrong when we got in the car and I said oh it's a bit plain you mentioned that there was um, a kind of a pack or an extra where it adds a little bit of colour in the cabin is that right or did I make that up? No so so I got it half correct so if you go for the first edition yep. you get um, you get yellow detailing inside so you okay. get um, yellow surrounds on the dashboard Okay. And you also get yellow stitching on the seats, and for me, it really helps to liven up the interior. And let's face it, yellow isn't your favourite colour. No, I'm not a big fan of yellow, but it works really well on the XC. It boat. does because it's it'll brighten the interior up. Because this, as I said, this is quite plain and plain, bland, dark, and I think just that little zest of colour mm. really would give it a bit of an oomph. Yeah, I think the the yellow works really well both on the inside and the outside so the outside yellow for the Exceed is uh, it's called quantum yellow Ooh. but you can only get it on the first edition which I find quite disappointing just okay. quick, just quick on guys I do apologize if the light is a bit iffy the Sun is starting to set so we haven't got a lot of time to film this so this video has been a bit rushed also I can't find my other clip-on microphone so I'm not wearing one Pat's here so you may not be able to hear me too well but for some of you that may be a good thing anyway Ah, oh, do not me. Um, one thing also I did say when I got in here for the first time was I feel a bit cocooned. I feel a bit, I don't have enough space around where I'm sitting. I have enough leg room. I know it sounds silly, so let me try and explain. When I stretch my legs out, I feel I have enough leg room, but I feel the kind of the cabin and the dashboard and so on is, is quite cramped around me. I wouldn't say I feel cramped, but I have found that the elbow room isn't that good. Uh, even then, just I'm at the change gear, and you know, I'm almost knocking elbows, el el almost knocking elbows with you. So I would personally, me, uh, I would prefer more elbow room because it I'm is a little bit. Talking about elbow room as well, and kind of where you rest your elbows, I prefer the armrest to be a bit longer or at least adjustable. adjustable yeah. Because. I, for me to sit comfortably, I have to have my elbow right on the edge. Yeah. I like it where I can maybe move it and we can position it more for comfort. And even then, you know, your elbow's tucked almost right in. Even then, it when is. I go to train's gear, okay, go on to I'm hogging a bit of space, but when I go to train's gear. Yeah, you hogger. I do, I do knock the space. Um, going back to comfort, what do you think of the ride comfort? It's smooth. It's smoother than I thought. It's, it's nice, isn't it? I wouldn't say it feels like it's gliding, but it definitely feels. What's the word I'm looking for? It the feels. Point. Yes, it feel. It feels um, slightly cushioned. It feels as though the car is adapting really well to the change in road surfaces, and it feels like the car isn't allowing the impact of those change of surfaces into the cabin where you're sitting. Do you want to know something nerdy? That's why I was leading you on to it. The XC has got hydraulic bump stops. Oh, really? I did not know that, Aaron. Did you not? I did not. Wow. 
You're I impressed, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I'm so impressed. I, I did not know that at all. So it helps to give better um, shock absorption. And I think they work really well. No, it does. Because I, before I even, honestly though, before I even knew, I said to, I did say when we were going for like the first little drive, how comfortable the suspension feels and how comfortable the car feels just going along a road, changing in road services. Because let's face it, around where we live, by like the seaside, there is loads of changing surfaces. And potholes. And potholes and um, going from tarmac to like weird gravelly road and then back to tarmac and then you get that mixture of the two where the council can't decide what they want to use so they've kind of just thrown both together because they haven't got enough of one and yeah it's it's definitely a comfortable vehicle to be in it's nice um i found it quite surprising because we had the kia stonic didn't we a a while back we did and i found that to be quite firm um so i was expecting this to be quite firm as well but it's really pleasant um jump into the like the outside quickly yeah what do you think the outside design i don't like the front but i do actually really like the back okay the back if you squint enough kind of remi- kind of reminds me of the porsche suvs that's a that's a bit a bit of a stretch that's why i said you have to squint a lot <laughs> if you squint from a mile whilst looking the other way it looks just like a porsche Cayenne. Okay, I can't, I can't really explain it. It's one of my, it's one, I, I can see it. Okay. I, I, there's a, like maybe a 1% look-alike. There's a 1% DNA match. Right. <laughs> um, it's not by any means a, a, an ugly looking car. Well, I think it looks quite good, but I think this car is boring. <laughs> I was just about to say, and I've said this with a few other kind of SUVs, with SUVs, I feel the colour makes the vehicle. Mm. It make it makes it or breaks it. Now, unfortunately, this colour it doesn't do anything for me. Now, if this was in the Luna, yellow, Luna, the, Luna Silver is the colour. In case you're wondering, the name's quite cool, but I think this would look really cool in like the yellow or the red or the blue. You can't get this in blue. Can you not? No. I tell you what, actually, uh, the colour choices for the X scene are quite disappointing. Kia, why can't they, you get this in blue? They they match the rest of the seed family, and they're actually quite mm. plain. So, the, out of interest, the yellow um, that is used on this vehicle is that the same as what's used on the old seed, the one that you had? No. no. Okay. Because the quantum yellow is. Is it bit, more vibrant? No, it's a bit more of like a gold colour. It's still okay. yellow, but it's, it's more gold. Whereas the other yellow, which is called yellow flame or whatever it's called. Something cheesy. Uh, that's, that's like bright yellow. And okay. Like a mustard yellow. Um, I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, in regards in regards to the outside, there isn't really much to talk about. It, it's a decent looking vehicle. The back is better looking than the front to me. It, it looks like it's like positioned well as as what i mean by that is there's no kind of massive gap between the wheel and the arch etc it, it sits well on the road mm. i'll tell you what i find impressive that even for the base model you get led headlights as standard i, I think that's properly impressive and, and you get led daytime running lights of course and led rear lights apart from when you get people flashing you going turn your high beams off you know what i've not actually <sighs> had that in this car Yes. And don't you find that the people that do that are the ones with the old cars that probably don't even know what LED means? Yeah. Anyway. Um, oh, one thing actually that I haven't discussed. Mm. So obviously when the cars get dropped off, normally I try and be at, I try and be at home so I can take um, delivery of the vehicle and I tend to have a little nosy round, get Aaron some photos. I don't, I don't know if it's just me but i i opened the boot in this vehicle and i actually thought the boot was rather spacious it, it is good yeah so it's i mean i don't know the capacity but for this size it looks good it's 426 liters is that good or bad it's not bad it's not bad um 
this. So the boot in this is about uh, about 30 litres bigger, lot, um, give or take, than the seed hatchback. Okay. The seed hatchback has got 395, 396, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, when, when I first had a look around, I thought the, the space was reasonably okay. I mean, I set the position of the passenger seat to myself and I had a quick look in the back and legroom isn't, I would say, it's okay. great it, it's okay. for short journeys. If I had someone of my height sitting behind me, it would be all right, but there wouldn't be enough space to kind of stretch out, move around or yeah. for long journeys, it wouldn't be comfortable. But it does look like there's a reasonable amount of space. Um, are bad. you meant to be able to fit three people in the back? Um, well, I, I, I don't think you can fit three adults in no. the back because uh, I sat in the back for a few moments yesterday and I didn't feel cramped, but I thought, oh God, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to have two other adults with me. Then I would feel cramped. Especially because you're, you're quite slender. So three, yeah. of, three of you may be not so bad, but if there was like you, me and a bigger person, yeah. it'd be, literally be like a sandwich. Yeah, so really it's best, you know, best served for two adults or three children or perhaps two adults and one child. It's a mixture, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I'm trying to think what the other things I wanted to discuss. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I was going to talk about. Tire tire noise. What do you think of the tire noise? I can't make my mind up. It's oh, not. It's not loud and shouty, but I it's not say quiet. It's average. What um, tires are these running? What size? Um, sixteen. Uh, sorry, sixteen inch. They are a Michelin Energy Eco tire. I'd have expected this to have a little bit bigger. Uh, if you go up to the three trim level, mm-hmm. uh, I believe it, it increases to 18 inches. Okay. 16 just sounds a little bit too small for this sort of vehicle. Mm, yeah, I, I think I'd agree with you on that one. Um, I'm getting so relaxed. I'm getting a bit like. Mm. It, is a, it, it is a pleasurable car to drive, and, and I was just going to say, it's... what's it like to drive? Because obviously, I I don't drive, so normally I ask you how it is as a driver. How does the steering feel? How's the weight of the steering? How's the yeah. pedal position? Steering weight is is actually pretty decent. Feedback is a bit meh, but that's to be expected for. Very know, technical term there, Aaron. Yeah, that's to be expected for, you know, a modern car with equally modern. Um, electric power steering and of course this isn't really designed to be sporty well Kia will will tell you that this is sporty but sorry it, Kia it's not sporty no but having said that it is quite good in the corners um, body roll is pretty well controlled no I agree with that even I've said it's it's quite decent grip is pretty pretty decent and on the right road this can actually be quite fun on, on the right road have you found that right road? Yeah, some of the roads around here. Are okay. Pretty good. Oh, sun's setting quick. Mm. What do you think of the performance? Um, it feels peppy, but I wouldn't say it's it. I wouldn't say it excites me or anything. The the engine sound is not not very nice. I don't mind the engine sound. Is it? Mm. Uh, a three cylinder, almost said three litre. <laughs> yeah, if only. Um, I think the engine sounds all right. It's got a decent amount of poke to it. So this has got the one litre turbocharged three cylinder petrol unit, uh, 120 horsepower. Um, how much torque has it got? I think it's 100 and 172 newton meters, I believe. Okay. Which equates to 127 pound feet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 60 is done with in 10.9 seconds mm. and the top speed is 115 miles per hour. So I, I, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a like speed girl. I like stuff to go fast. I don't... Well, this isn't 
the time to go fast, is it? No, um, I know, but I, I like something to be under at least under 10 seconds, otherwise it just feels like a snail could beat it in a race. Um, you do have a 1.4 litre engine, again turbocharged, mm -hmm. that offers 140 horsepower. Yep. Uh, that will get you to 60 in, I think it's 9.1 seconds, 9.2 seconds, so that is under 10 seconds. I understand this is not made to go no. fast. But Before be fair, anyone yeah. has a moan at me, I, I understand it's not made to go fast. To be fair, you know what, I think if Kia put in the 1.6 litre turbo, I think that I think that'd be quite a good car. This is, this, do you know what though? Overall, as a passenger, I don't really have much I can complain about. I'm I'm comfortable. I've got I've got enough space to be comfortable. I've got feel like I've got an okay amount of support on the seats. Yes, I'd like a bit more bolstering, and I'd like the headrest not to feel like someone's just wrapped fabric around a breeze block. But I think it's a bit harsh. This is a PRC video. I will say what I like. Um, would I change anything about the car? Maybe a little bit more peppy, a bit more, a bit more kind of nippier, a bit more quicker to sixty miles an hour. Yeah, but this is a family car. It could be a little bit quicker. No, I think I think this one litre performs pretty well, and as I said, you can get the uh, one point four litre if you want a bit more pep. There's Ma also maybe it's different as a passenger then. Maybe there's also a one point six diesel, but let's face it, I don't think many people will buy that. Not unless you really crave uh, that extra fuel economy. So I think that gives you around. Don't quote me for the exact figure, but I think it's around eighty to the gallon, which is yeah, very good indeed. Uh, this engine gives you about. To think, I think it's about 52, 54 mpg. So let's call it 53 mpg again. That's not the exact figure, of course, but pretty green. Um, CO2 emissions for this car 124 grams per kilometer. So for the first year of VED, uh, you'd be required to pay 170 pounds. So, okay. bad. question I've got for you is would you buy this or save your money and get a standard? seed hatchback bearing in mind like for like the seed hatchback is around two thousand pounds cheaper hatchback yeah i would as well even if you've got the estate the sports wagon that's still about a thousand pounds cheaper than it, this. it's not not really even down to the price to me it's how they look as well it's good that it's cheaper but the hatchback is just i think it's just a bit more a bit more stylish it's a bit more okay. yeah it's a bit more stylish i i i would even say it's a bit more a bit more modern and a bit more eye-catching now really? yes okay, that surprises me um would it is that to say that if i was in the market for kind of a crossover on suv would i would i disregard this no i wouldn't but given the choice i would rather have a hatchback So, right, before we fade into the darkness of the night. <laughs> yeah, what do you rate it out of five? Three and a half. Okay. Just there's just quite a few little things that I just I just feel. That, I mean the most the most of that that points the most of those points are down to to comfort how it feels on the road mm. and what you do get for your money mm. but i don't feel it can it could be uh, based on other scores i've given other suvs from memory i don't feel i could score it more than that because there's there's a fair few rooms for improvements with this vehicle okay. so what would you improve i'm um, now you're testing me i right again these are probably a, a lot of personal preference some people may agree some people may not mm. i feel that the alloy the, the tires are too small it should as standard 16s so a bit too small i feel alloys, you mean. alloys sorry yeah. i feel that they need to be bigger there needs to be something in the internal like the cabin area that 
at least gives you the option to add some sort of colour or vibrancy to break up just the bland and dullness. <coughs> Excuse me. And small things like just designing of design and styling of the car, the armrest. It doesn't take much to allow it to move forward. Make it a little bit longer because not everyone is going to have the same length of arms or want their arms to be positioned in the same way. You've even got room to make it a little bit wider to allow for two people to have their arms on there. Um, really, apart from that, there, there isn't much I would change that isn't personal choice. I can't say oh, I'm marking it down because of the colour because that's a per- personal choice. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I would say is maybe a tad better legroom in the back, but then obviously you'd start to look having to sacrifice a little bit of boot space, which yeah. is already less than some of its competitors. So it's, it's pros and cons really. It depends yeah. if you're going to have people in the back often, which for us we, we very rarely do. No. Um, overall, it's. It's a good car for your money, but there's better out there. Fair enough. I think it's a fair assessment. Anyway, this is where I balls the ending up. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even know what I see. I've already balls it up. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to Carb Session. Be sure to, hang on, was it like, subscribe, and ring his bell to make sure you get notified. <laughs> ring his bell. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> to, to be notified every time he makes a video or both of us make a video. And until the next time, guys and girls, be sure to keep up the... Car obsession. High five. Be gentle. That's my bad tattoo arm. Ow. <coughs>